Hi guys, Kuya Dev here, and today we are going to UST. I've been invited to be one of the panelists in a symposium about social media influencer marketing. University of Santo Tomas is the oldest university here in the Philippines and certainly one of the most prestigious, so it's a huge honor for me. As you may have noticed, Alvia and I are taking the public transportation. Here in Metro Manila, that's no easy feat at all. It's so hard moving around the capital, but we are doing it for several reasons. First, we love taking public transportation whenever possible. Personally, I love being with my fellow commuters, and it's like being right there in the middle of the battlefield. And believe me, it's a battlefield. Second, we don't own a car. We work from home and owning a car is so expensive. And we are trying to lower our carbon footprint whenever we can. Lastly, it's a Saturday, so it isn't as hard as weekdays anyway, so yeah. Anyway, why am I showing you the commute? Well, I just want to show you everything that goes on behind the scenes of events I'm taking part in, just to show you what it's like. And that includes the travel. Like I said, we often travel by public means except on certain occasions when it's totally inconvenient. But I don't think I'll be doing this again. Watch one Metro Manila commute video, you've watched them all. This event is very special because not only is it hosted by UST and is expected to attract an audience in the hundreds, online and offline, but it's also the first event I'm invited in that isn't related to tech at all. I'll be joined by influencers way bigger than I am with followers reaching millions. Oh, by the way, we are taking this tricycle, which will be our last ride to the campus. We were supposed to take the famous Philippine jeepney, but we are running a bit late, so can't do that anymore. A tricycle ride often leads to a more interesting journey anyway, so that's cool. I also used to go to college around the area, which they call University Belt, due to the number of universities and colleges here. Lots of fun memories for sure. What did I just tell you? We're getting into this narrow, barely paved alleyway. More interesting journey indeed. It may seem that filming the whole trip is kinda dangerous since I have to stick my camera out but believe me, it was totally safe. I use a 360 camera and do a lot of zooming in during editing so a lot of things seem closer than they are. A tiny tricycle plying the highways. Only in emerging economies, guys. Only in emerging economies. And I'm laughing here since someone from a jeepney waved when they saw the camera in typical Filipino fashion. And here's my wife, Alvia, by the way, and her resting bitch face. Tricycles are my least favorite mode of transportation since they're way more expensive than jeepneys and buses, less safe, and I can barely fit. But hey, you can complain when you're in a hurry. They find ways to get you there. Okay, so we're here at uh, UST. Guard says we're on the wrong gate. So off we go to the next one. 
Okay, so this is the right one. Let's get in. Since the tricycle got us here fast, we actually have time to spare. We're starving, so let's get some snacks first. Did I mention that the event will be held inside the UST hospital? Dito ba yung sa event? Ah, uh, sa TikTok symposium po. Oo. Uh -huh. Oh yes, dito po. Login po muna tayo, tapos sakit tayo na 4th Okay. Hey, hello! <laughs> hello! Hi, uh, wife ko, Sanvia. Hello! Ah, sige, sige. It was Anna's group who were the ones who reached out to me for the event. So, thanks, Anna and company. Good. We're finally at the holding room. Hello! Hello po! Here are a few of my co-panelists. They are an amazing bunch, so please follow them. Hello. Here's one of our hosts, Miss Ange Torano. Um, valuable question na sa tingin mo dapat ko i-hire. And Sir Mikey Santos, straight from Singapore. Ah, nice. nice. Fresh from Singapore. Mm. Wow. Sorry. Uh, from airport niya, direct niya. Oh. So, Jim Lazam runs a marketing agency. Everyone is starstruck with Miss Laika Maravilla. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to that's Rem Lapa, a podcaster, web developer, speaker, and tech community leader. Wow. Oh, oh, and Mama Papa is Dr. Nico Mikey. Formerly an electri electrical engineer, he shifted careers into oh, tech and is currently the JavaScript engineering team lead at Rockwell. And is probably a company on a mission to help students get the best start to their careers. He is also the founder and manager of Tech Career Shifter Philippines. A community of Filipino career shifters, career starters, and self-learners who support each other's transition into the tech industry. Kuya Dao is also known for its helpful and inspiring, often whimsical content for tech career aspirants. He shares his experiences and insights on the Kuya Dao podcast, his website, and his social media channels. He also holds regular events and workshops to help tech aspirants learn new skills and network with other community members. Let us all welcome Kuya Dev! So for me, also, for our first two um, guest speakers, they're very motivated by advocacy and exactly. um, a higher goal for the platform that they are in. My first set of panelists, so we will proceed to the much awaited part of the program, which is the first panel discussion. Do you get nervous looking at the camera? Always, always, yun. But uh, sa akin hindi isip ko na lang uh, I'm not doing this for myself, parang ganon eh. Kasi uh, nabangin kanina more on alpha kasi. Tapi Facebook lang dahil feeling ko ano yung audience. But uh, nire-resist ko yung TikTok kasi parang hindi siya para sa akin kasi nagsasayaw doon na ng tao. <laughs> Pero naisip ko, kaso ando niyo audience eh. Ando niyo audience. So why would I deprive no, uh, them kung ano yung mabibigay ko, may share ko? And trust. And remember that you have to find a measure of success that's more than the views, more than the money. My metric of success back then hanggang na now is if I make one video and someone, kahit one person, learns something from it, sulit na yung lahat ng effort ko in making that video. More than the number, it's really the value. Um, so for example, I nakapila ako sa clothing store. Tapos yung cashier, coach like, kaya ako nakapasok kasi yung interview. 
um, video mo ginamit ko dito. Like that's the kind of meaningful interactions that I enjoy. Um, of course, it's social media, so we cannot really control what other people would say, especially your audience. But we can control what we could say. Ibat ibang opinion yung pinibigay nila, but focus lang talaga dun sa niche niyo or yung talagang hobby or gusto niyo ng ginagawa. Okay, mapapapek sa negative comments. Because for me, negative feedback it could be constructive criticism. And it could be pure bashing lang talaga. Kasi gusto natin mag-give back to the world, but we forget about ourselves and to give back to ourselves as well. Behind those numbers, behind the content and the followers, you're all still humans, right? Siguro, I, I would challenge the thought that influencer marketing is a new thing. It's just the question of sino ba influencers ng generation na ito. So may shifting need yung consumers sa kind of content na influential sa kanila. Another thing is yung sinasabi ni Kuya Dev kanina, evergreen content. I think hindi pa siya na, na ma-mine as well. Wala ka 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 sure. Pass po. <laughs> influencer marketing po doon. Uy, hindi. Ang maganda kasi sa influencer marketing, binibigyan niya ng choices ang consumers. Not only yung mga bagong kasal, but the younger generation na it is possible to plan. Kasi people nowadays are looking for practical ways on how they can apply or yung journey nyo, parang nakikita nila na, ay, same kami nito. Influencer marketing right now is more about, you know, the human element of marketing. Na ano ba talaga yung naging experience sa mga taong gumapit ng product? It basically means sharing stories. If you think about creating content that way, you're just sharing a story. That means all of us have a story to share, and that story resonates with a certain number of people. So you have to keep what's online and what's offline in line with your values. Know yung why mo. Ano ba yung value na gusto mong ibigay? Create content that you yourself want to watch. Kasi pagka gusto mo siyang panuuri, you will attract the people and the audience that will want to watch it with you. So, bilang nandun na yung pwedeng kayahin, nandun na rin yung responsibility na dapat um, dun sa message na kinukonvey mo din to your audience. Tag din, be careful nga dun sa mga pinapost. And, ayun, consider natin all age. Kasi magkakaroon ka naman ng sarili mong niche. Eh. It comes after. Eh. Basta you do what you love doing. Kung what you're most passionate about, what are your strengths, you just translate that to your content and lalabas doon ang magiging specific audience mo or yung niche mo. Thank you so much for our first batch of panelists! Laika Maravilla, Kuya Heb, Dan and Danica, and Julia Pindeta. I live with and what can't I live without? So I'm currently an aspiring content creator on TikTok with um, 12,000 followers in Women Life. Oh, nice. And there is a. Lagi mo tatandaan, ano yung, ano yung values mo before you say yes to a brand? You know, have an idea on how they will showcase the product and they will they put their own spin on it. Those are the partnerships with influencers that we really value. So as much as possible, I filter out those kinds of comments. Kahit na binash ako ng tao, hindi pa rin naman yung deserve yung ganong klaseng ano, di ba? Merong mga comment for bashing. There's another kind, yung people who comment for attention. Very short, remarkable, key takeaway that you would want them to like carry on even after the program. So I think we can start with Kuya Dev. From left to right. The naging common theme ngayon is authenticity. If you're actually pursuing uh, being a social media influencer, be authentic, be yourself. You know? uh, of course, filter out the mga hindi dapat makita you know, na, na, on the public stage, uh, and be responsible. Yeah, from the brand side, I feel I, I think na what the, what I want you guys to take away is that so it's no longer about uh, when you build a brand, it's no longer about uh, just the hard numbers. It's about creating that connection with your consumers, building that affinity with them, not just so, so that when they buy your brand, it's not just because they use it, but it's because they will love it. It's really not about hard selling, but it's about hard selling. Especially for marketers, we should always adapt to change. 
what's working now might not work soon. Ay kapag ano ka, consumer ka, uh, be responsible in a way kung paano mo i-consume yung content ng mga ta- ng mga influencers na yun. Huwag kayong matatakot na i-call kami. Call out kami, okay? Just be, don't be mean about it. Just to everyone who uses social media, um, be responsible with what you post. You don't always have to um, share too much. Basically, uh, don't focus on the money. Kasi ano yun eh, to be follow na lang yun. So, kung ano yung gusto mong gawin, gawin mo. And don't box yourself. Yun, when it comes to sharing your story, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the very best. But it has to be real. So I would like to award um, this plaque of appreciation to Kuya Deb Rem Lampa for imparting his invaluable insights and expertise in the USD Graduate School Marketing Management Symposium entitled TikTok, The Talk That Matters, Cracking the Code of Social Media Influence. Given this day, given this 25th day of November 2023 at the BCI Auditorium, USD Hospital, University of Santo Tomas, España, Manila. I would like to promote the YouTube channel of Doc Ong. Ayan. If you want to know more about real estate, marketing, management, and so on, subscribe and get notified. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, let's go. Let's see the rest of the